What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a big box good. This men's Alfani dress sneaker I picked up at Macy's. It was under $40. Today, an impressions, a quick look, an overview. Let's take a look at just how good of quality this shoe is. And then at the end, try it on. Yeah, let's try it on, see how well it fits. So here we have this men's Alfani dress sneaker. First and foremost, what makes this so versatile is the fact that it's got the rubber flexible sole that you would find on maybe a Converse or a Nike shoe, but it's got the style of a dress shoe with dress style laces. They're thin, what you would expect to find on a dress shoe, but under $40. So if you or someone you know needs a shoe that they can wear around while also looking formal and professional, a step above really wearing a sneaker, this is a really good option. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fit and finish. At under $40 here, it's a faux leather, it's a fake leather, but as you can see, no creases upon purchase, meaning uh, no one has worn them before, and no chipping. This looks kind of like it's painted over the surface, so perhaps maybe in the future, uh, some chipping, although that's just uh, speculation. Um, so far, so good. I don't see any quality control issues with the color of the shoe or with the branding of the shoe. Taking a look around the side of the shoe, you can see the stitching is close together. No threads pulling or sticking, nothing you have to cut or burn with a lighter. Like I said, extremely well built for the price point at under $40. Very professional looking. One other point I want to make is branding. The only branding is actually on the inside of the shoe at the heel. Of course, you get branding at the bottom on the sole. It says Alfani. Also, a good time to take a look at the sole. It's flat, it's grippy, much like you would expect from a sneaker, but again, with a formal dress style. But again, owing to its formal style, no branding or logos on the outside of the shoe not even on the tongue of the shoe, just like I said, on the inside and on the bottom. Now, even though at the beginning of the video, I failed to mention the name of the shoe, if you look inside underneath the tongue, you get the size of the shoe, which as you can see is a men's size 11, but also this shoe, it's made in China, it's called the Elston shoe. So in case you were wondering, that is the name of the shoe. Looking for this in store or online, it is the Elston shoe. So because it's got the versatility of the sneaker, it needs to have the same comfort features that a sneaker provides. First and foremost, it has a nicely padded ankle collar. Of course, once we try it on, I can give you a better idea. But second and most importantly, it has a memory foam foot orthotic, which is comparable to that of a Tempur-Pedic bed. Now, Pressing down on the inside of the shoe is only enough to tell you that it's not that thick of a foot orthotic, but should be comfortable enough. So it's got a memory foam foot orthotic akin to that of a Tempur-Pedic bed, but not removable. And before we try it on, uh, just first impressions of how comfortable it should be, it has a very nicely padded ankle collar. So first impressions, after having worn it for a few minutes, what I can tell you is it's extremely comfortable. Uh, it's flat like a Converse would be. So not the best arc support, but where it does make up for a lack of arc support, I find that the memory foam insert is comfortable enough. And also like I was showing you earlier, they're flexible like a sneaker. It's got a thin rubber sole, a flat rubber sole makes it comfortable to maneuver in, makes it comfortable overall to wear. But I think if you or someone you know has problems with arc support, probably look for a better shoe because this one is flat, but 
Luckily for me, I can cope with it. Not only are they comfortable to wear, but they make me feel comfortable about myself. What I was expecting, as someone with wide feet, I like a wider shoe. You can see it kind of bows out at the side of the shoe right there, which, like I said, makes it comfortable for my foot, which is typically wide. Not only are they comfortable to wear, but they make me feel comfortable about myself. Anyways, guys, that was a quick first impressions overview try on of the men's Elston formal dress sneaker by Alfani. I picked it up. This is not the Elston dress shoe by Alfani. This is actually a Columbia slack tight sneaker I reviewed a week ago, which was what I was wearing roughly 10 minutes ago until I realized how comfortable the Alfani are. So on my foot, extremely comfortable. Like I said, a flat sole, not ideal for someone who has problems with arc support. So probably look elsewhere if you have someone uh, in your household that you're buying these shoes for that have problem with arc support or if you're buying them for yourself if you have problem with arc support look elsewhere a bit on the flatter side but has the versatility of a sneaker like we talked about it's a flexible rubber sole compare it really to a converse it's got the style though of a dress shoe the formality of a dress shoe not real leather but it's a brown uh, faux leather. It's got a glossy sheen to it. They're very stylish looking. Uh, make th makes them formal and also the pointy toe I think makes them formal and makes them actually kind of sleek and slender and athletic looking or sharp I would say is probably the best word to describe them which overall I think makes me feel more comfortable about myself. But what's cool is I can wear them whenever I want because like I said they have the versatility of a sneaker with that flat sole. So kind of a win-win and also the fact that they cost under $40. Anyways guys that has been a first impressions, a quick look, an overview. We tried the shoe on, I talked about how versatile it is, what makes it versatile, what differentiates this shoe from a regular dress shoe and a sneaker. It's really a combination of the two. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. Comment down below your similar experience wearing Alfani shoes or maybe shopping for shoes at Macy's under $40. Hit that bell icon because I will be reviewing more items like this from Macy's and other stores. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.